What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today the French Anniversary Sugo Fest is in the game's data and today we're going to go through all the information relating to the Sugo Fest as well as the events that are surrounding it. I'll make a separate video talking about all the new batch characters because it's going to take a while to talk about them and discuss them. So if you want to see what the characters do, go check out another video that I'll be uploading later today. But first of all, we're going to be talking about the Sugo Fest banner itself and how it's arguably one of the best banners of all time. This is insane how good this Sugo Fest is. So first of all, there's going to be a free multi. Now, I believe it's only going to be one free multi that we get. I don't think we get multiple free multis. That wouldn't make sense. Um, but you can see right here, French version, 5th anniversary, Sugo Fest. One free 10 plus one. And obviously, the recommended characters are all of the new characters. And Higuma, the treasure map rare character, is making a return. Um, he's not like an amazing character, but it's cool that he's returning either way. Because uh, many people wouldn't have him. But as for what this event information will tell us, because uh, there is a part one and a part two, and there is going to be a part three, I believe, but it's not on this part. I'm not 100% sure about that one. But either way, part one and part two are the ones you want to be focusing in on anyway. Um, the event information obviously doesn't give us any info but on the free multi the event information does give us stuff to talk about so let's have a look french version fifth anniversary sugo fest this time one free try at 10 plus one rare recruit during the event period is underway yes only one free try um to celebrate the french anniversary uh we get a three times red rate three times this is why I was saying you should be waiting for this banner rather than the V3 Law Sugo Fest. I know how exciting and how tempting that lore is, but I've got to say for most of you guys out there, this is going to be the banner to summon on, and the steps furthermore are going to solidify that fact. It also says Redhead Pirates and Arlong Pirates are going to be appearing as voiced Sugo Fest exclusive characters. And then there's going to be two new dual units as well, is Don Krieg and Gin, and as well as Kuro and Django, both are going to be debuting here. And then the treasure map Higumu is making a return. Now, it was weird when they announced this, but there is also like a new debuting character that's going to be available just for global right now. It's super, super weird. It says there's also a special gift character just for this Sugo Fest. For users that recruited the Sugo Fest exclusive Redhead Pirates, either in their 5 star or 6 star from the French 5th anniversary Sugo Fest, so it looks like you can pull their 5 or 6 star form, they will receive a new Marquino, proprietor of the Relaxed Tavern, who is available to support the redhead pirates at max level and support level five as a gift. So this is saying that if you were lucky enough to summon and get Shanks crew, you get your hands on an exclusive support unit. Now, it also, I believe it goes on a little bit to talk about what she does. Uh, applicable characters that she supports, uh, Shanks, Beckman, Lucky, Ruin, Yasop, obviously makes sense. All characters that consist of the characters above will be applicable, so you can still attach it to like Ben Beckman and Shanks, the treasure map unit as well. Um, Mark, you know, proprietor of the Relaxed Tavern, support effect level five, once per quest, if you're inflicted with chain multiply lock, or remove SFX, so chain lock or um, or uh, the uh, blindness debuff. If those are, d are inflicted to your team, she removes those by three turns. That is actually insane for a support effect, and you get it for free if you summon Shanks crew. I don't know how I feel about this, man, because it says she has a powerful support effect, so don't you miss your chance to get Markino by recruiting redhead pirates. Yeah, I understand that, but like, you're saying for people to summon for the debuting legend, and if they're lucky enough to get him, then you get this support unit as well. I don't really know how I feel about this. I feel like they should have just had another event where she was available after you complete a certain amount of runs, just so everyone can get them. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, will be distributed accordingly, applicable to users at the end of the Sugo Fest. The character will be directly added to your character box, so please be careful of accidentally using or selling the character. There will be a separate mail notice when the characters have been distributed. Regardless of how many redhead pirates you get, uh, you only get one copy of the unit, and... It says, cannot be recruited from this Sugo Fest and future rare recruits. She may be uh, become obtainable again in the future through means such as event rewards and gifts like from this Sugo Fest. Yeah, look, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, this ain't it, Chief. This is definitely not it. I'm not a big fan of that because people have to summon for the new unit in order to get the to get the support unit. Not a big fan of that. As I said, you should have just had it as a chopper man mission reward. But what I do like is everything else that surrounds it. Three times red rate is awesome. I, I believe this free multi will not be three times red rate, so don't get too excited. And also this banner will be debuting on the 27th 1900 PST. Hopefully you guys understand that. This is the banner to summon on. Let's talk about the actual steps here. Now, the steps for this banner. First of all, the first multi is going to be uh, just regular 
Regular legend. You get a legend after the first multi, and it is also a 30 gem multi pool. That's very good. The second multi is also a legend, and I believe it should be going to 50 at that point. The third is going to be a legend that debuted after June 2019. If you guys have seen the Law Sugo Fest steps, you would see that that is a very recognizable step. So, basically, character that's debuted within the past 12 months. It's pretty good. So that's going to be from Cat Dog, Legend Jack, Carrot onwards to now. So that will include Shanks Crew, Arlong Crew. Um, the new lore should be on this as well. So this includes a lot of characters. Uh, the fourth step is going to be a legend. The fifth, all wanted posters are Sugo Fest exclusive. <laughs> what? The fifth multi, all red posters. All red posters. What? Oh my god, like, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is definitely one of the best banners of all time. The sixth multi, again, another legend. And then the seventh multi, another uh, 12, or it's like 11 month, or 13 month, sorry, 13 month release legend. Eighth multi is another legend. Nine is another June 2019 or higher legend. And then another one straight after it on the 10th, the 11th, another legend. 12th, another legend. 13th, another June 2019 legend. 14, another legend. 15, all wanted posters are Sugo Fest exclusives. Dude, the 16th, another legend. Another legend. Another June 2019 legend. Another legend. And then 20th, all wanted posters, again, are guaranteed Sugo Fest exclusives. 21st is a legend. 22, another June 2019. And then on the 25th multi of part one, you're guaranteed to get your hands on the five star version of the Redhead Pirates, or otherwise known as the Shanks Crew. So if this doesn't really solidify the fact that you should be pulling on this banner compared to the Law banner, I don't know what's going to convince you at this point. This looks like the best, the best Sugo Fest of all time, from what I'm seeing right now. The only thing that we don't know is what characters are rate boosted on what parts. And when that happens, I will be making another video for you guys discussing that. But it's just got me thinking, like, if we're getting banners like this for when Shanks crew drops, what are we getting when Snake Man drops? <laughs> I have no idea. But what I do know is that this is a very, very good Sugo Fest. Now, of course, on the other part, you can see, which is part two, it is the exact same steps, except for 25 multis, you get the Arlong Pirates instead. Uh, you should not do 25 for the Arlong Pirates if you are willing to do 25 multis you should definitely get shanks crew he looks very very much better uh in my opinion and many people's opinions would also agree to that and if you guys remember they on the law sugo fest right now on jp is their choose your own sugo fest and the jp player base rated shanks crew number one that was the number one unit they wanted to see rate boosted so again shanks crew is one of the most sought after characters on jp and most consider him to be the best legend in the game even with the release of super type captains so Shanks Crew is, is one of the best characters in the game, and you got a pretty good opportunity to get him with lots of red posters here, especially with steps with all, all guaranteed legends, and it's three times red red as well, so you're likely going to be getting legends in between. Dude, this is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Now, part three, I don't know if there is a part three or not, but... It doesn't really matter. But there is some other information as well. Let's go to the extra island real quick, and we can have a look at some other events that are going to be dropping. So there's going to be the Sugafest trial, so it gives you a little uh, test event to try out some of the new characters. So Shanks Crew, Arlong Crew, and some of the other units that are dropping. Um, this is also dropping as well, which is called the Co-op uh, Local Sea Monster. Uh, this is weird. It says it's a ranking event. This is very odd because this character is a global first character, the, uh, the sea monster right here. Now, this sea monster is actually really good. Good. So he has a special ability which does uh, 5,555 fixed damage. I guess it's for the fifth anniversary. I guess that makes sense. Um, so it does that much fixed damage to all enemies that ignores defensive effects. He reduces defense up, which is the blue shield, and he removes damage threshold by three turns. Fantastic. And then Psy and Quick characters get a 1.75 orb boost, and if you land three perfects, you get a two times orb boost for Psy and Quick in the following turn. For a free-to-play unit, this is immensely powerful. Uh, I don't know what classes this character is. I would guess this character is probably a powerhouse something. I'm not really too sure. But you can get your hands on some support medals, some some lobsters, which are good for leveling out your characters, and some uh, some potions too. So very interesting. Um, we'll have to see a little bit more information over the coming days about what this is about. But um, there are some Chopper Man missions that are relating to this. We'll go through in just a little bit. Um, there's a new lottery event that's going to be playable as well. So it says you can clear it once per day. And I assume it's going to be very similar to when um, the Kaido event or was it when Luffy and Zora came out? I can't remember when, but there was like an event you played every single day and it gave you a really good chance to get some, some rewards. So 
it's going to be very similar to that, I assume. And then we have an Arlong event out, which gives you the opportunity to pick up some skill books of recent characters. So you've got Limited Recruit Caesar, you've got the new Law, you can get his skill books here, and then Shanks Crew and Arlong Crew, the new Luffy and Sabo from the Law Sugar Fest are available here as well. Django and, and, um, and Kuro, and then Gin and Don Krieg. So skill books for new characters, always good. And then there is a new raid boss. This is a new raid boss buggy who is going to be dropping. He is pretty interesting, actually. He's actually a dual unit or a crew unit where... Um, um, you've got Buggy as one unit, and the other one is uh, Kabaji and Moji. So when they're in their combined form, they are a 3x captain with 1.2 HP, boosts his own attack by 3.25, int slots are beneficial for your team, and then gives you a chance to dupe drop an item at the end of the quest. So for a dupe dropping captain to be a 3 or 3.25 captain, that's actually pretty good. Um, as for his special, he will go ahead and reduce all enemies' nullify damage by 2 turns, he does 100,000 fixed damage to all enemies, which is good, and then delays them by two turns and changes G, Bomb, and unfavorable slots into matching. So good all manipulation, a delayer, and fixed damage. Uh, pretty good unit overall. So this is going to be a character you can farm for, and of course, he's going to be likely boosted in future treasure maps and stuff like that. So you definitely want to get that done. But as for the Chopman missions before we end this video... The Chopman missions are nuts. So there, there is an event here where you can max the special level of the buggy and you get three gems just for maxing the special. So make sure to do that. Um, then there's quests just for completing certain events. So depending on how many times you've cleared it, you will get certain rewards here. You can see that there's a gold ticket, which will give you, it's a four star or better ticket after 15 clears of anything, basically. Uh, some more gems, support medals, another rare recruit pool, some more gems, a feast, another rare recruit pool. You see, there's so many good rewards, another five gems here. So just by playing the game, you get, your hands on some pretty good stuff um there is also login during the event period to get your hands on croc and daz bones this character has been out for a really long time now but for newer players or people that don't have this character you can get your hands on him now just by logging in during the french anniversary and then there is the stuff relating to the sea monster so if you clear the sea monster one time on any difficulty you get a four star or better rare recruit pool you get some gems for three clears five clears gives you this a boiled lobster times one and a Choose One Sugo Fest exclusive times one. This is the first time in like two or three years that Global has had the chance and the opportunity to select a Sugo Fest exclusive. We don't know what characters are selectable from this event. I assume that when we get the information about the co-op sea monster event, it's probably going to have it in the information about what characters are selectable. And I might make a separate video about that, talking about like what are the best ones to pick because some might be better than others. Um, what I really hope to see is version 1 Rayleigh or Corazon. I hope that both of those are available, or at least one of those are available, because those are some of the oldest characters in the game that people still struggle to pull, and they are still so good to this day. They have amazing support effects, so I really hope that Corazon and Rayleigh are there, but it might even include some more recent -er characters, maybe characters within, you know, year 4 or year 3, maybe. We're not really too sure right now. But I mean, last anniversary that just passed with Kaido, they gave away freaking Legend Lucy for free. So who knows what's going to be available in this, right? Either way, we get to choose a free Legend, which is good. I I'm really happy that that's coming back. Um, so shout out to Yoshi-san for providing some amazing events during this anniversary period. Um, we get another Final Forbidden Tome set. We get some Limit Break stuff, some more gems, and then obviously Chopman missions relating to specifically the higher difficulty of the Sea Monster to get more copies to max him out. I assume he Limit Breaks as well to reduce his cooldown, Probably, we'll see stuff like that. But man, as I said, amazing Sugo Fest, amazing events. Actually, there is one more thing that we forgot to talk about before we ended this video. Um, I did actually see someone let me know about this. If we go to the unlockable quests, and it loads up, there are all the unlockable ships are going to be available until August 21st. So... Look, I've already made videos in the past talking about which ones you should pick up. I think Ho is the number one priority. Make sure to get this ship, no matter what. Even if it's even if even it means it's 30 less gems to pull on the Sugo Fest, get this ship. It is so good. Get this ship. Um, Zunisha is also a, a really high priority ship, I would say. Megalo is exceptional. Koi, not so much. But we have a new ship. We have a brand new ship, which is the Arlong ship. Now. Uh, I do think this ship is worth it. It is a very powerful ship. It reduces cooldowns. If your captain needs to be strength, dex, or quick for you to get the boost, but it, you get a two times attack boost with a ship. But then every single turn, the attack multiplier will slightly get reduced and it caps out at 1.3. But basically, if you're in a Kazuna Clash or some sort of content that you can clear very quickly, you want this ship because it gives you a humongous attack boost. 
So I do think it is worth it for like Kizuna clashes and stuff of that nature. So it is available there for 30 gems and that's going to be available on the time of the French anniversary as well. So that is going to wrap it up today, guys. As I said, the best banner in Treasure Cruise history. Save your gems for this banner. It is so good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.